guys went to the gun club, got Scotty here helping out. What's going on, guys? Check out the titanium lounge. We just space for us, But we are doing some We're going to like the Jack Daniels. I can't see the logo. <laughs> All right, back in the office from produc production today. We've got Joey in the room. What's up? How you doing? What are we making in here? I think we're doing some decorative walls for you guys. It's gonna look good. Painting like in a black on two of these walls, try to get like a little production YouTube setup right here. I'm gonna put a standing desk right here, shoot against that way, decorate the walls, and see what we can make use of this room. Yo, what's going on guys? Tuesday here at the studio. We're gonna be doing some spec work. A spec ad for Legend shorts, one of their splatter shorts in red. For these shorts right here, we got Tanner and Ethan over what's here. What's up? Oh yeah. Yes sir. Let's go. We're gonna be shooting four. These legend shorts. How's it fit? Really comfy. I love these things. Heck yeah. Bring it up. Yo, what up guys? So back in the studio Wednesday today. We got the accent wall all finished up. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Wow. Black walls are all finished. Our boy Joey finished it up this morning with an extra touch of paint. He crushed it. Excited to deck this room out. It's been a storage room, so finally putting it together after a year. But it's looking good. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so this box just came in. Got a little gift for the intern. What? What you get, big dog? Another gift. Open it Stop. up. Stop. Wow. What? Stop what is this? Up. We got you a camera. What? A64. No. With a pop up camera with a lens. Stop. Are you serious? Got your own road microphone. What? What else did we get? Got we a got cage. A, a tripod. I think it comes with a tripod. That's for you to try to figure out how. Yeah, so that's nice. where we're gonna practice at. Whatever that is. Oh my gosh! Are you serious? Yes, sir. What? So your next Stop. couple weeks, you can learn how to. Oh film my your own gosh! Jet and step it up. What? Thank you so much, you Got guys. You, fam. Thank you. Good job this week. Thank you. Hey, come here. Give me a hug. Oh. oh. <laughs> Guys, are you gotcha. serious? Get my sick hands all over. That's a flip up camera on this one too. Stop! I'm gonna vlog. Hey, vlog. No, it's for school. For school, not for my vlog. Oh Joe. my gosh, you guys. Working on her Thank project you. over here. How's yeah, it going? we got our project going. Scotty on the ice. Wrapping it up. Yeah, wrapping it up. A little highlight reel at the end. Ooh. Yo, good morning fam, just made it into the office, 8.30 on Thursday. I'm gonna be showing you guys a full day in the life, week in the life of what I do. So I got two meetings today, um, one at 9 a.m., one at 11 a.m. Usually we try to get a workout in in the morning, but uh, didn't have time. Had to do some admin shit at home. So got that 9 a.m. meeting. I'll give you a little sneak peek of what I talk about. So this client is already onboarded. They paid, um, bringing them on retainer. They sell like seafood products. So that's gonna be a little different, a little cool. Um, but just going over an overview of all the content we're shooting for their upcoming campaign in regards to ads, in regards to different sample videos they like, how we're gonna structure it for their business. Um, so I'll give you a little sneak peek of what it looks like when I talk on phone calls like that. Oh, this is tiring holding this. And then for my 11 a.m. meeting, we got, um, ooh, got another lead coming in. But 11 a.m., we're talking with a bakery. They're partnering up with Jelly Smack on YouTube, and they want to batch film like 15 different videos a month. So that'll be a core retainer we bring them on. We did a sample project for them last month. That's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, if there's no productions, just working on a lot of admin stuff. Um, getting everything in order, doing a bunch of follow-ups, making sure the team's on point, just trying to get everything organized to make everything as you know seamless and streamlined as possible. Especially if I'm not around, I could have things in motion as best as I can without me here. Running your own business, when I first started out, um, like most of you guys, I was doing everything. Now I'm doing a little bit less of everything 
trying to find the right people to, you know, fill in some of those gaps where I could, you know, take time away from or, you know, I don't have to be doing specific things if I don't need to, if it's not going to be moving the needle in my business. What's up, guys? It's Scotty. So we're out here in front of Lee Visuals, as you can see. Uh, right now, Gordon is on a questionnaire call. So basically what happens is we send out a questionnaire when we get a new client that's interested in working with us and we set up a call. So we figure out what they're wanting, what they're needing done, what every, basically anything that they need, they tell us in this interview process. So right now he's on one of those calls. So I'm gonna bring you in. We're gonna do a little behind the scenes so you can see what he's doing and kind of a few of the questions that he asks. And yeah, let's get in there and check it out. to pricing it's probably more somebody looking for a wider variety of seafood looking for a premium quality seafood you know being premium and being frozen kind of puts the freshness in their hands if you go to the store yeah whatever is in meat case like that's already thought you got to cook that within the neck if you if you don't cook it today it's one less day fresh tomorrow versus now you're like all right i'm having people over tonight you pull it out in the morning like that thing is seeing oxygen for the first time since it was on the boat. Perfect. Yeah, just to give you an idea, I think in the um, proposal we said like 20 photos or something, but if we're shooting like a barbecue scene, I'll do deliver like around like 30 to 50 images per scene. If we go in the kitchen, I'll send another 30 to 50 in that scene as well. So you don't have to worry about like the quantity. I'll just fire away, send you a bunch of different variations for you to fuck around with. Um, okay. Just so we're not missing a specific ratio for like a website banner or like a social post all right meeting went well what do you think scotty i think it went terrific Scotty came through lunch. with the coffee this morning absolutely always every day wow what are you drinking today are you ready for this all right so we have an iced americano double shot with a splash of oat milk light ice a little bit of sugar-free vanilla in it but then here's the secret is you top it with cold brew so we're getting rowdy yeah, I give no fucks about that coffee order. <laughs> but we're about to get a workout in right now. Leg day, baby! What do you think about this vibe right here? Got the nan lights on the rack. Got the 120D for a key light. Gym vibe. And turn on the camera. Here we go. Shooting on auto. What a new. <laughs> All right, back in the office. What we got going on, Gordy? We are doing some revisions right now for a couple projects. Here's a whiskey one we just wrapped up. I'll give you a little sneak peek right here. <laughs> following up on some questionnaires right now setting up another meeting for 12 o'clock got one at 11 o'clock and then I'm gonna start some pre-production for our production this afternoon with golf.com other than that just more admin work yo what up guys so we got a meeting here in a second so I'm gonna show you real quick on the screen if you want to take a look Scotty so before each project um, I'll create a new project for each of my clients. So for this one, we're gonna be doing for a bakery. So I'll search for her name. She's already in the system. Boom, after creating the name, we're in the talking phase still. So I'm gonna say initial meeting. I have all this set up to how I like it. So I'll create a project. And then now during our meeting, while we're talking, I'll go to the notes section. I use Dubsado for my CRM. You can back up a little bit, Scotty. So during the production phase, during the pre-production phase, while we're talking, um, I make sure while we're talking on the phone, I'm taking notes the whole time, just because I want to be kind of, you know, talking back and forth with her and paying as much attention as I can um, while taking notes at the same time. That way, when I finish the call, I know what we talked about and I can go to my notes section for a recap. 
pretty much just going over like an overview of the video or project she's looking to create, you know, production details, any logistics that we need to be aware of beforehand. The more notes you take and the more prepared you are during that phase, it's going to help you guys a lot. So if you guys don't currently take notes during discovery calls or phone calls, I would highly recommend you guys do so. How's business going for you? Business is good. It's been a busy week. Yeah, I can't complain. We have a staycation on Saturday, so we're excited for that. So just trying to get as much work in as we can. Okay, so I wanted to chat um, as we are finalizing our deal with Jelly Smack. I wanted to chat and see if that's something that you are interested, if you would be able to be on board, um, as long as it's mutually beneficial for us, and if that kind of uh, content, like that volume of content, would work for you. Potentially doing two full-day productions, so two you know, up to eight hour days, I think we can knock out 15. All right, so just wrapped up that meeting. It's just gonna be production only, no editing. So I'm more flexible to price when I'm just shooting the content, but I'm about to hop on another phone call right now with a real estate agent. What's up, man? How you doing, my man? Always good, man. I love it, I love it. No, yeah, I saw your questionnaire, cool story. And you now you're branched off doing, doing your own thing, correct? So just got off a call with a realtor who's been struggling um, running his business. He just branched off to start his own real estate company. Isn't really generating any leads, um, having trouble figuring out what he's doing wrong and why everybody is you know, passing him up. Um, I told him to work on more so the communication with his current clients because that's what my biggest flaw was in the past when I worked with realtors. So I told him to you know, figure out the communication, make it a wonderful experience for each of his clients. Because right now he said he's not getting too many referrals, but he's doing something wrong if people aren't referring him. So that's what I told him to do. Yeah, I think we're wrapped up with calls for right now. I'm waiting on another another meeting before we do some shit around here. All right, so about to hop on another call. Normally I'll have their website pulled up, I'll have their questionnaire pulled up, and I'll have my notes pulled up just so I could kind of gauge everything we're talking about. Then I got my gallon for my phone stand. Try to get some better audio closer to my mouth while I have it on speaker so I could type. Do you want to dive into your business a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we have a um, unique business model. So I always like saying we're in the hospitality space for um, fitness. And then for, let's say, you know, for video, visual purposes are we just trying to get like a bunch of like cool people out there to be in the video or are we trying to keep a small group or just one-on-one -on -one? it's probably a good group of people right yeah maybe like I, i'm thinking like a small like like maybe four or five maybe trying to replicate like a group fitness class mm -hmm. all right last production of the day where are we headed today we are at true spec golf uh they have a couple products that they want us to shoot so we're getting like five to six videos of them for ads and yeah about five o'clock right now here we go yes yeah, sir we're going to 7 30 tonight it's gonna be a long day here setting up that true spec golf got the lights going up right now gonna do a one camera setup probably two cameras just in case got a lot of a lot of location to play with inside i'm just trying to see where we want to get set up all right we're getting audio set up right now so right here i have a zoom h6 it's an external audio recorder Going to be using two of my favorite mics, the Rode Wireless Go. One pack is going to one channel, the other pack will be going to a different channel. Recording it externally, so that means I'll have to sync it in post. Just get an XLR adapter for a 3.5 millimeter um, cable. Plug it right in, and you're good to go. Just before production, just make sure all the batteries are charged. I had to double check the AA batteries on this guy, um, just so it doesn't run out during production. But everything looks pretty much good to go. Three launch profiles. This is the mid-launch. Okay. Um, mid-launch, mid-low spin. Alright, just caught a wrap with the shoot. All wrapped up at True Spec Golf here in Scottsdale. How'd it go? Perfect. Simple, easy, effective. I can't complain. Not too bad. We filmed like five different product videos. Mm -hmm. A little bit longer than we thought it was going to run. It is now 7.45. We started at about 5 o'clock. So actually we're pretty much right on time. We yeah. thought about two and a half hours. So a little bad. bit over, but it was good. So I've got to turn around these videos by like Monday so gotta get crunching on this yeah only if Scotty edited videos big day tomorrow for him and I'm back to the studio dropping stuff off then going home to see the wifey yeah. all right finally made it home get back back home
All right, what's up, fam? Ending the week. Today is Friday. Got a lot going on right now. Been stuck at home. It's like 11 o'clock. Just editing all morning. Uh, the shitty thing about long production days is you get super long post-production days. And if you don't stay on top of your post-production, that shit adds up and then you get burnt out. So over here on the iMac at home, I like working at home a little bit more when it comes to post because my iMac is a lot quicker, more efficient than my MacBook when I go to work. So just trying to crank out as many edits as I can right now before we head out on you know, a staycation on tomorrow. 10 plus videos to catch up on before we head out. Gonna head down to the office in a little bit um, to, to meet up with a buddy from college. But yeah, nothing too fun today. Um, yesterday was a packed day full of meetings, full of production. But now it's just trying to catch up with all that before the following week, following week starts. And then it's a new week. New productions, new editing, new meetings, all of that. So where are we headed? We are off to get the car seat installed. Oh my god, too close, babe, too close. All right, it's Saturday, headed to our car seat installation. Learning how to set this bad boy up. We got the Nuna Pippa RX. Time to set it up in my car. See how it goes. Okay. Gonna be a fun weekend, and then we're off to our staycation tonight. Vacation at the sanctuary. It's gonna be a fun time. Oh my God. Is this gonna be a baby moon? It's like 115 out here in Arizona. <laughs> Got my sun hat ready. Got her sun hat. She thinks she's going to the pool. Yeah. I don't know about that. Bumped. Car loaded up, ready to go. Checking in at the sanctuary. Excited? Excited. I can't wait. very emotional. Yeah. yeah. How do I be a dad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, she just told me uh, to be 90% a kid or 10% an adult. And yeah. I took that really into consideration. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, it helped out a lot. All right, just made it to the room here at the sanctuary in Paradise Valley, Camelback. What do you think? How do you like it so far? Oh, it's beautiful. Put this bed by got a auto. nice view. Got a nice room. Gorgeous. Give a little room tour. What do we got? TV. We got a bed. We got a beautiful pregnant woman. We got some <laughs> snacks from Trader Joe's. A bathroom. Nice looking bathroom. Got a shower with a toilet. Shower, toilet. Like he's both at the same time. Ready to have a fun weekend? Ready. A watermelon and strawberry refresher. That's what I'm gonna call it. What the heck did I get? It's a three out of ten. Walking back. <laughs> Struggling. <laughs> it's like 115. Good morning, good morning. We got breakfast in the hotel today. What do we got? We've got this. Give me a breakdown. Sticky buns. The skillet looks delicious. Classic breakfast with bacon. And some huevos rancheros. Ooh. Right, we are officially heading out yes. for the weekend. Great Thank staycation. You, my love. Best staycation ever. Always the best time. Until we see our little baby. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> or we might sneak another one in. Who are we kidding? Yo. Why not? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 